<clears throat> Why don't you draw a pentagram on one of them and see what happens? Okay. Just and then fly. take the wire off and see what happens. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. Give me give me a painting roll as you be. What do you want to use to paint on it? Blood. Your blood? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, roll D3 damage on yourself. So you need some blood. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 He says, all right. He paints a pentagram on it. And uh, give me an occult roll. Uh, yeah. Hey, it actually looks like a regular pentagram as opposed to, you know, say, Star of David or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it, it appears to irritate the uh, creature. That's about it. All right. I'm going to put the creature in the middle of the salt circle outside of the cage. So it's just loose right now. All right. It goes for fucking right through the salt <laughs> And uh, it's sprinting off. I'll try and grab it. Give me a sprint roll and a grapple in half. Come here, you little fucker, you say. Yeah, good sprint. Grapple in half, and you've got it. Otherwise, it'll escape through a hole in the wall. <laughs> right. Freddy goes... <laughs> And he's got his head stuck in the wall. It went right through part of the wall, and his hand stuck through a different part. Okay. He, he seems to be stuck there. He needs help. I help him out. All right. Yeah. Me too. Freedom! It's, it thinks as it sprints off. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's so many other ones missing that if we lose one, not that big a deal. Yeah. Right. It's the principle that matters. Yes. Okay. But anyway, yeah, but no. All but right. we no longer have that animal. Uh, right. Oh no. Whatever. Um, okay, so it does let so kind of a lot of things seem to irritate them. Uh, uh yeah, electricity. Uh I, I tried zapping one with some static. I and... think that one didn't fit anything. Yes, huh? it, it would definitely irritate Doc, although if you wanted to try it yeah, out, I'm yeah. not going to say no. It irritated them about as much as it would anyone, yeah. Yeah. Um... What do you do, Doc? What do you do? <sighs> I will draw a pentagram on the ground in the middle of the salt circle. Do you want to draw it around Doc so he can't get out? No. Oh. So in the middle of the salt circle, and then get the wire that was on the animal and make a circle around the salt on the ground. So now there's a salt circle, a golden wire circle, and a pentagram. Uh huh. Grab one of the other animals. Okay. Remove the golden wire. Uh huh. Stick them on top of the pentagram. Uh huh. And get ready to catch them if they run. Okay. Do you run? Give me a grapple in half as you're just snatching him. Yeah, get over here. Now it escapes. Wow. Okay, pentagrams do fuck all the things. Hey, you're yeah. taking the shit out of it. Yeah, I pentagram entirely useless. That was what we came up with. Yeah. All right. It's good to know you have consistent results. It does irritate it when it's in the pentagram. I say we nuke the site from orbit. It's the only way to make sure. Mm -hmm. That would definitely um, be a Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you really don't want to use that unicorn blood on this. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see you. You know you want now. Uh, Something that you you haven't done is like uh, got in uh, suspended in liquid and stuff like that with a needle and shake it up and then uh, and you, yeah oh yeah right to the source mm -hmm. 
I mean, knowing Freddie, you could have him try to put it up uh, the victim's ass, I guess, that would also do it. But normally a shot is more traditional for doctors rather than trying to put something up somebody's butt like Freddie normally does. And they're called suppositories. Yeah, everything to Freddie is a suppository is the problem. I mean, everything. It's like, I need to take some aspirin. You want me to put that up there? What? <laughs> Well, I guess if you have all you have is suppositories, everything looks like an asshole. Yeah, okay, I can't deny that. All right, let's just try this because okay, we have no other. Try what? Uh, I want to go to the li library land and just see if we get lucky. Might be a book on Sleek Avenger. So let me get this straight. You want to journey to a whole different zone where they've yes. never heard of this dude. Yes. In order to spend time with librarians who themselves are going off to find the books for you. Yeah. No, I, I don't find them myself. No, that yeah. doesn't work that way. They go. It, it well, last time. Uh, yeah, unless you need any special books, of course. But yeah. yeah. Uh, I will... This is called PC desperation here. As uh, we're in desperation mode. If you haven't noticed, you've, got, you've gotten the solutions. You've uh, figured everything out. You're just not. You're doing what you did yesterday. Unfortunately, Yana is not here to slap you back into shape. Although she what did a good job doing? yesterday. That's why you guys got the golden wire thing. Yana yeah, slapping okay. you into shape. Let us take a moment to remember Yana slapping you into shape. I want to find the solution. Yeah, so good. So there's so many different solutions. You're thinking going to the library will definitely be an unproductive waste of time, but you can if you really want to. Well, just get a bunch of people say, hey, go find all the demon possessed animals. Put a bunch of gold wires around their necks and then stick them all in the cave, collapse the cave entrance. That's the idea. Wooden... You, that was the lame idea you came up with yesterday. Well, what the fuck is the other idea? Well, how, how, how do you know you got them all? That's life, then. Hmm. Oh, by the way, there's nine more animals if you're keeping track of your animals. I hope Freddy's keeping track of yeah. the total animals. So that would make it. They were delivered well outside of the barn. Like you have to walk for a ways. Uh, we like have 56 right now. Oh, cool. Yeah, hey, um, I guess I'll feed and um, water any animals that are up and moving. None are. They're using the gold wire provided by uh, Freddy. They're all wired, all right. Yep. Uh, shall we at least take care of the kid, cure him, tell his father tomorrow? Or do you want to try the unicorn blood? Uh, I, I I think that um, unless we're trying the unicorn blood, I mean, we really ought to hold off on the kid until really last. No, I told I, the guy two days so he can come back here and we can let him know that we're just going to have to destroy the demon inside, and then let him say his goodbye. Okay. No unicorn blood? Yeah, no unicorn blood. Uh. What I was thinking about doing is maybe taking like a quarter of it and seeing if that would do it. Like taking a quarter of it, like make, take, turning it into a shot and giving him a shot to see what happens. Uh, or maybe just a few grains and then work upward from there. Just so you know, uh, it's one dose. You've got one dose. So if you're wanting to give him part of a dose, eh, but if you want to give him a dose, it's either yes or no. Because it's, it conveniently cut it into doses already for you, rather than say you've got God knows how much of this shit. So. Since we have more of it and we know how to refine, like we can get it refined. 
um, or we can have one of the other PCs refine it. We could always just give it to the kid, see what happens, and I mean, what's the worst? Like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? The kid dies. He's already oh, dead, as far as we know. Those things happen. Here's what'll happen: the demon will get infused with the patent, break free, and then fuck off. Okay. I, I really don't. I have no idea. Now, not having been uh, making use of unicorn blood at any time prior to this, myself. It's a hell of a way to uh, find out. I love it. I'm gonna go stand over there with my sword out, ready to fucking kill anything that jumps out at me. Even though I know I'm not gonna do anything, it makes me feel better. I want to get one of those heart syringes too. Like I want to put Ooh. that dose, and I'm gonna fucking like, like fucking. You know, pulp fiction might, on him. You might yes. want. Yeah, you might want to send Freddie off to get one. You want me to go get one for you? I, I know I can get one for free as well. For free? Yeah, in Burlington. Doctor's office. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You could get one for free there. Good point. Right. So, uh, are you going to send Freddy off to go get your fucking, uh, let's do a heart dose? Large syringe. Sure. No, I got one. Oh. Never wow. Done. Now, if the kid's moving around, it'll be a dagger roll. Oh, no, it has a thing around if it. He's... Ah, well, then, then, yeah, you should be okay. It'd be a dagger roll plus 30 because he is totally not moving at all. Just to get it exactly right. Otherwise, you'll get it in him close. But if you want to just get exactly, are you, are you, or you could just stand there and like put it on his heart and go like that. I bet if you yeah, want, to, I, I, I'm going to do what a doctor does. Okay. I'm not going to stab him like a no. like a wild idiot. <laughs> okay. I, uh, the only reason for stabbing with the needle would be to go through the uh, sternum. Right. Yes. So now, Doc, uh, what are you going to, it disturbs me, you know that, I like that. Uh, now, what are you going to do to get it, because right now it's dust, what are you going to do to, are you doing anything special or you're just pouring some dust, dust in it and then mixing it with water and hoping for the best? Actually, uh, uh, if you want, everybody can give me alchemy rolls and see which suggestions get put forth, if anything good. This is a no stuff roll without destroying your sample. All right. Oh, I know. Uh, Freddie got to use uh, boiled oh, water rather than whatever water this is. Freddie's like, I think we should use some sort of mildly alcoholic thing like beer because it's had all the <laughs> impurities boiled out through the distillation process. Oh, vodka. I don't. I didn't say that. I said mildly alcoholic, not yeah, like I mean, vodka. Mild to whom? Hey, that lends a whole new meaning to doing shots. <laughs> oh, take a card, sir. Okay, so just so you guys are aware, I did say mildly alcohol. Yeah, yeah, if I mild use straight alcohol. vodka, I'm good with you injecting straight vodka Beer. into the heart. No. Beer? Every time he does this, nope. it takes a few minutes of him going, beer, 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 beer. Apparently he hasn't worked up his ultimate, uh, I'm too lazy to go to the store power of the universe, but just imagine if we had that in real life really high. Ah, uh, Taco! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Not yeah, even I'll getting up I anymore. Can, I can pop over to the embassy and just grab some mild, okay. uh, mild alcohol. I'll go do that real quick. Okay. But, you do so, you, you come back. Yeah. Wait. You're not going to inject isopropyl into his veins, are you? No, they're going to put it straight into his fucking heart because, you know, they... In, okay, yeah, isopropyl? No, well, a bit. Uh, <laughs> ethanol, maybe you could get away with that. Yeah, they 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 just want to mix it with a little bit of uh, very, very watery beer just to... Because the water in this zone is not pure. Of course, if you want to go get pure water as opposed to the stuff in the zone... That that'd probably be. I can purify the water. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a bummer if you know we save him from the demon and then he dies from what we did to save him from the demon. Uh, hold on. Because we'll also get blamed for that. We get blamed for everything, and you know it. Freddy explodes. Come on, give me an explosion roll, Freddy. You know you're going to die from this. Yeah, uh, oh, Last time he passed out for a long time. It was awesome. Uh, there you go. All right, here go. Come on, give me the draw five. Where's the draw five? Lucky lady says. Ooh. Right. How many magic points is that spell? Uh, two. Uh, okay. Roll high, low. High is Marcus. Low is. Uh... All right. Marcus, uh, roll D two points of damage on Marcus as you give him a good electric shock. Uh, I get one. You take one point of real damage as he gives you an electric shock that you will definitely remember. Must be a. Yeah. I'll heal you in a sec. Hold on. I hate this zone so much. I thought you had the willpower rules next to all the spells, no? Yeah, we have. Oh, all that's right. a quick I got next spell up. Cool. So it's just purify liquid? Uh, or? Purify water. It's a uh, container of uh, undrinkable dirty water up to four liters in your hands. Uh, holding it up and shaking it while chanting. Cool. After a minute, the water is suitable for drinking. Nice. Okay. Hey, well, clean water. You mix that instead. And uh, right. So, are you wishing to mix the unicorn uh, concentrate in with the clean water? It turns the clean water a milky white. Reminds you of mother's milk. Mother's milk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You've got one needle full of stuff. Uh, you know that tomorrow morning that guy should be back unless you want to go get him now so he can watch you uh, do whatever it is you're going to do. Oh, I can't see that going well. It, it'll be awesome. Do it now. All right, so no audience going for it now. Give me a doctoring type roll to correctly stick this into his heart without, you know, ripping a hole in his heart or any of the unfortunate consequences that can come with this. There's your fucking drug, right? Freddy has his sword out and he's in the corner waiting for something to come and attack him so he can be ready. And I undo the gold thing and I take it off. Okay. No problem. As you're doing, you do so, and you move. You stand next to him, or where? Where's everybody at? I know where Freddy is. He's over there in the corner with his sword, going. Ah, ah, ah. What are you two doing? Yeah, I, I'm, 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 well, I'm, I'm right in front of him since I did it, and then I'm taking the gold thing off. And then... yeah, I'm I'm out of arm's reach, but okay. otherwise close. Okay. Doc just stands there like. Like, is he coming to? What's happening? He's starting to glow. Oh, great. He begins glowing brighter and brighter. And he begins to glow white and brighter and brighter. I chilled my eyes. The bonds light on fire. And his. I'm going to step back. Low is good for him, high is bad for him. And he bursts into like this supernova thing. The barn goes up into flames as he goes and he turns into a big white thing. If anybody has a supporter reroll, like for NPCs, now is a great time for it. Otherwise, he pretty much becomes like a supernova, causing everybody damage, even though they just now step back. Or maybe the people even in the corner and definitely dock. Good sunburn. As he goes. No. Okay, so let me check on damage here. Doc's got. Do you have armor on, Doc? No. Cool. Well, I'm all. I have beast mode, so it's always two down. Oh, why didn't you say so? Eight. Do you have armor on, Marcus? Yeah, two pips. How the hell do you have two? Three. And two for you, Freddy. I gave you the minimum over in the corner. And that's all burn damage. 
as uh, the barn is now uh, somewhat on fire. Is that real or half and half? Real. Real, real. And he, he disappeared with his head thrown back. He became a being of pure, bright light. And while you were busy doing your medicine, you're pretty sure, Doc, Freddy lit the fucking barn on fire. Hmm. So well, while that was happening and we were taking all that damage, I look around. Did it burn away all of the other creatures? And did like they, the demon things die or no? Give me a critical luck roll. And yeah, that happened to the ones, at least the ones in the barn. Otherwise, no, they're just on fire. No, they're just on fire. Uh, okay. You guys want to stand and watch the barn burn down? No, I can go on no. fire without duty. Everybody give me a firefighting roll. Uh, okay. Uh, would that be a learn roll? Yeah. I think Freddy's actually got some of that. I have the opposite. Oh. I have make fires. I don't put them out. Yeah, apparently you're doing that now. If you'd fumbled, that would have been perfect. Doc, are you wanting to give it a shot? So that all happened like instantly, basically, and then went away? Uh, yeah, over the course of like five rounds or so. So I couldn't have like tried to analyze what it was or anything that happened. Now that it's done, you can. But first, give me a firefighting roll so you don't have to analyze it in a burning barn. Now, mind you, you're still up. Doc goes, yawn, he goes, you over there, you over there. Right, Doc picks up new skill, firefighting. And the barn is completely put out very little actual damages, mostly apparently cosmetic. You never knew that the Doc was a firefighter. That would explain why he keeps appearing in calendars. You guys I was wondering here? about that. Yeah, apparently traveling with Freddy has given him a new insight into the world of the firefighter. Doc, this is your big, important, analyzed magic role to figure out what happened. So is it analyzed high magic then, or? No, I, uh, no, analyze it... magic and then uh, pattern lore. Can we also do that? Sure. Cool. Let me know if you make both. Pattern lore, you said? Yep. Not shadow lore. Nope. <laughs> ah, yes, he has gone to be with Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it's <laughs> I've seen this happen before with the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'll spend one pause. I was going to say, you're just not really sure. But you have a move on it now. Oh, yeah. I got it. Yeah, fuck you. You made both of them, didn't you? All right. I crit. Or no, I got the first one by quarter. The analyze magic by quarter and then pattern lore just a success well apparently something in that fucking unicorn blood really didn't like the thing it 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 was definitely on the road to purifying the kid and if he was stronger because he was making his endurance slash con roll and rolled a natural 100 then he may have actually survived and come back and all that but he was simply not strong enough uh and so he <laughs> burst into flame and stuff uh but is yeah. there anything left of him not even a fucking hair oh problem solved he ran off did we notice the demon fly away afterwards oh no 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 you're not really sure well actually give me spot hidden rolls at a quarter because there's a lot of smoke and shit from you know the barn being on fire <laughs> <clears throat> P is confident that there was no extra smoke, just the normal fire smoke. Oh, okay. Everybody else is unsure. 
Uh, if it would have was wispied out, I would have seen it. With that kind of roll? Probably so. But no, you were very confident that, no, nope, the demon did not escape. This house is, well, partially clean. Yeah, we, we don't, unless we go, like, find the unicorn and bleed it out, we're not going to have enough to do this with all of all of these. No. Yeah, definitely not. It definitely fucking had a major effect on this guy, though. Major. Uh, well, we almost got the farmer back his son, or the shopkeeper. Almost got him his son back. We tried. You're thinking that the story of the kid ran away is probably not going to, A, hold up, B, do you any good. No, we'll tell the truth. Oh, that's... He went up in a ball of flame? <laughs> All right. Yeah. If you think that's the way to go, I'll go along with you. <laughs> There's the evidence. The fire everywhere. Very little scalding. Doc was so good at putting it out that there's just barely any scalding. Nobody would, nobody would ever believe you. Demons. Sure. That's the story. Sure. Demons. Of course. Oh, you know, we, we came back to the barn and the kid was gone. No. And it's got to be the best disposal of a body I have ever seen. It was the most thorough for sure. Well, we there we know that works. Sort yeah, of. yeah, it definitely, definitely did something. Yeah, but see. Now, if you did that again, but more, a bigger supernova, and set that off in the middle of the forest, cleansed all the animals, there you go. You wanted to nuke them. You had your nuke. Um, I'm trying to remember if on Friday, um, it, it's like vaguely tickling my memory. Did somebody try to draw the pattern on one of the animals? If they did? I would be very surprised. Logan? No. Nobody tried that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I was even then, I'll tell you, no. <laughs> Um, Could be one of those ideas right up there with invading Russia during the winter. Having a land war in Southeast Asia. So what I'm thinking, though, is if you do take a dose of that blood, it's like walking the pattern, except now the pattern is in you. So Ooh. that would make you infused with pattern. Which is why, if you have any lures on you, it could be rough. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, any, mixing that with lures does seem like it would probably go bad, and I certainly agree with you there. Yeah, I, I want to walk the lures. The powers are very useful. So I'm definitely not going to be doing that. <clears throat> Uh, so close yet so far. Hmm. Uh, Chris, give me a... Mm, uh, actually, everybody can give me an evidence analysis lowers, but I'm looking for something good here. I'm not looking for I made it. Something better than I made it. So, Quarter's NPC of your enough. choice hmm? can draw... New ah, then that'll knock the bad guy out of card play. Wait. Bad guy, the GM's choice, gets four oh. cards. If another NPC is involved in card play or becomes involved, this is negated. Or the GM's option, he can draw new cards for a different NPC. Ah, you got never and uh, bad guy NPC draws four cards? Yep. Cool. I'm rolling an evidence analysis, you said? Yeah, something special. Freddy did a really good job. 
Freddie, ba if Chris is correct, and you suspect that there could be truth in what he said, then that would mean that it could be very possible that anybody who gets injected with the unicorn blood, if they fail their uh, to hold up constitutionally to it, uh, then they'll die and possibly even permanently. Yeah. Thought I'd mention. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather not do that. I just well, thought I'd mention. It's like walking pattern, except yeah. it's then inside you. Well, what if you gave that to Elwin? It might turn him into a door. Which he's wanted to become for a long time now. Ooh. It's rather a kill or cure type thing, but yeah. Yeah, but he has zero points, so. True. Oh. Something to consider, I think. <clears throat> uh, Hall of Victory. Everyone that's hard or victory hard. Anybody have any victories? Yeah. Get rid of it. Oh. I'm uh, back. Oh. See, I repeated it, Freddie, because I knew he wasn't listening to you. Nobody listens to you, Freddie. I don't know why. But why? that's what? just how it is. See? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you for proving my point, Marcus. Uh, Chris has a poly tree, so I can get that back. Yeah, if he wants it. You guys are getting close to the end of the session, so it could be a good use for it. I have a limited retreat, so I can limited retreat the full retreat. Oh. I still have it. Huh. Yeah, talk to Chris about it when he gets back, see what he wants to do. Oh, what else can we try? Well, you are getting close to the end, so make it sexy. Yeah. Oh, Matt's going to be so mad on Thursday. It's the story that never... Well, I mean, as I said at the beginning of the session, if you guys want to abandon this fuck off and go somewhere else, you could. There are solutions to it. It's just not my job to figure it out for you. Demon Barn Part 6. Yeah. How the hell are we on Part 6? I just started arbitrarily numbering them as my guess. No, yeah, this is... It was me and Scott and Sheila, then it was Matt, then it's me and Yana yesterday, and today it's us. It should be number 4 today. Ah, sorry. So Thursday will be number 5. I will adjust it. Chunk. <laughs> and five part mission bullshit that none of us care about. If you don't care about it, and nobody's forcing you to stay here, sir. Yeah, but if you don't do it, then shit will go bad. He asked me, it's all a hoax. Yeah. That's what the Chinese right, want. No. That's what the kind said. Mm -hmm. point there. So, Chris, we can't hear you. He knows. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Uh, Freddie, tell him about the card play stuff. Uh, do you want to full retrieve the victory? I'll let you retrieve the full retrieve. As you guys are getting close to the end, pretty much it's, you know, up to you if you want to solve it or if you want to um, uh, go for end of mission, because I very much suspect that on Thursday next, Matt, Freddie, and Yana, and Freddie is the one who mostly deserves it, although the other two do bear some responsibility, will be doing the Demon Barn Part 5 of 8. Although you guys, once again, have found out new useful stuff. It's just, unfortunately, rather than doing 
like combat, swashbuckling, anything like that. It's been all thinking, and I apologize for that, but it's your choice to stay here. You guys have had the option to bugger off and go elsewhere, but everybody says, no, our asses need to be covered. Um, have we really found out? Yeah, yeah, you found out all kinds of shit. You, you've done things, you've made a new contact, you've experimented with new goo. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff. Yeah, but if we let this go, we'll probably never hear the end of it from the people at the embassy. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, what would be really, really, really funny is if like Matt, Freddy, and Yana can't solve it and task Jameis, Jeff, and you, Marcus, to do it the next day on Friday. That would and be then they can't do it and task. Chris, Chris, Marcus, and Russ. That's fucking hilarious. Marcus, you're stuck with this forever. This is your one fucking mission. Yeah. He'll show Marcus running around the woods with a fucking net. Come here, you. <laughs> so if you guys have no ideas, I recommend ending it now. If you do have ideas, I'm happy to go with that. Well, we need to tell the father that his kid's dead, at the very least. No problem. I can cut to the next day. He comes back. He's like, where's my boy? We had to excise the demon from him. I understand. I, I prepared my wife for this. You said the chances weren't good. Let me at least take the body back so we can burn him proper. Uh, handled. Already. Oh. Did you say some words over him so the spirit doesn't get taken by them bloodthirsty elves? Yes. Yes. He said many words. Shows them all. Shows the PCs. Fuck. 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 <laughs> he goes. Oh yeah. I, now uh, let's see. Uh, everybody who's not Chris, give me fast talk rolls to support Chris, who is doing the fast talk roll of. Words were said, and it was very respectful and stuff like that. I'll play my assistant five. Chris gets helped a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going good. You're at a plus 10 at least. Come on, Freddy. I want you to roll 100. Just roll me 100. Wait, I'm doing it? I'll go quick. Chris was doing it. You said shit, too, when the guy came. Oh, okay. Well, you said everyone not me. I said everybody is not Chris. You're not Chris. Oh, I don't care okay. if you think you are Chris. Right. I don't care if you want to be okay. Chris. Okay. Chris, you're to plus 15. I'm going to support myself. He makes a very, he has some sort of like raw charisma leaking through, and he's like, and then we said, and he's doing some Shakespearean shit. The yeah, guy right. starts crying. He's <laughs> like, I couldn't have asked for a prettier funeral for him. He cries it, his glorious. spirit became pure light as it went into the heavens. He doesn't know what the heavens are, but he likes the pure light bit. I'll tell my wife it was done with the greatest of reverence and respect. Thank you, so He hugs you guys, except for Freddie. He shakes hands. Thank you. And <laughs> he goes away. He right. said the best words. <laughs> Right, he buggers off and credits begin scrolling up the screen. All right, so first step, naming this bitch. Who's got ideas on the name of this? Freddie, are you intentionally muted? Oh, sorry. Um, I hate demons. That, that, that's my idea. You're slipping, Freddy. Marcus? I, I know. And then he was gone? <clears throat> Chris? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, unicorn crack. What? Unicorn crack. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like that one. Yeah, I do too. Um, 
K-R-A-K or K-R-A-C? How do you spell crack? It'll, it'll yeah, light I, you up real good. <laughs> How do you spell crack? Like, so, yeah, it's a, like a regular crack. Oh, that kind of crack. Okay. So the ideas are, and then it was gone. I hate demons. Nighttime is the right time. Pure light and unicorn crack. Yeah, I'm leaning towards the unicorn crack. Yeah. You guys good with that? Okay, we'll go with unicorn crack. And uh, Brady Marcus, grab an extra card and do your. Uh, oh, Chris, what have you got before you fade out completely? What have you got to say to the studio audience out there and to uh, the people who will be doing this tomorrow? Bye. <laughs> Marcus? Don't do unicorn crack. It's not worth it. Ready? No, it's totally worth it. Oh, yeah. Ready. Uh, sorry, Matt. 